Hey guys, welcome back to another ASMR video. Today is going to be our 1K celebration. Yay! I meant to do this like a month ago when it happened, but I've been doing other things, so we're gonna go ahead and celebrate today. Originally, I was thinking about like eating a box of chocolates for this or something, but the box of chocolates I got was honestly kind of gross. So, instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to be looking at my videos that I've posted throughout. Oh. Throughout my two years on YouTube here on my computer. And yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, I'm looking at these videos. I see this first one I posted was on January 4th, January 5th, 2021. And it says Lo-Fi ASMR Soft Whispered Rambles with Picture Tracing and Wall Scratching Positive Vibes Only. Okay, so I very clearly remember this video. I had pictures up on my wall at the time. I would find beautiful pictures off of Instagram and just online in general and whatever. And then I worked at the library at the time. So I would go to the library and print off like bulk pictures and then cut them out, trim them how I wanted, and then plaster them on my wall. So my first video, I had on some gold nail polish, and I went through and traced and tapped and scratched around the pictures. And I said sort of like positive affirmations, positive positive inspiration and motivation and all that as I went along. So definitely remember that and it was received pretty well. My second video was ASMR My Gift to You. Velvet and box sounds tingling. Reflective visuals and intense lens tapping. Now this was a long video, 45 minutes long. And I remember my storage was trying to skadoodle from such a long video. And yeah, I remember I was a little disappointed because it was only my second video and my first video did very well. And I felt like my second video did not do as well. And I was disappointed because I loved this video. The velvet scratching, I remember I thought was so satisfying as someone who loves fabric scratching and velvet and all that so I remember I was a little disappointed about how it did but and I accidentally filmed it the wrong way to where it was like mobile view but yeah and then the rings I remember they were like iridescent rings and I remember I tapped them on the camera so that you saw like the reflection of a million different colors in the rings on the lens and it was just really cool but, yeah. Then I have a lo-fi ASMR mirror tapping one. I remember the flash was on for this. And I remember like three people disliked it. And I was like, oh my gosh. But some people liked it. Then I did ASMR teens of the world. Tap and scratch a kappa with me. I was trying to be English. Um, lo-fi whisper. Inaudible. I don't think it was really inaudible, but I think it was kind of hard to hear, which is why I titled it that. But I basically did, um, like, box tapping and scratching in that video, and it was very lo-fi, and it was on this set of tea boxes that my mom got me for Christmas, which was, like, teas for different countries in the world. And, yeah, I always really like box tapping. And scratching and tracing like that so I liked the video then I did an 
ASMR calendar triggers, page turning, tapping, butt up, scratching, tapping, and more. I remember this video performed pretty well and I enjoyed it because I was going through my calendar and just like page flipping and I always like paper sounds and stuff like that. And I did an ASMR turn the page with me. This was one of the few times in college where I got a bunch of books to read. So I remember I got a bunch of John Green books and I think I only read like one of them. <laughs> but I traced them and flipped through and I think read a little from some of them. And I did the intro with the face view and then I switched to the hands view, flipping through the books and whatnot. Um. That one did fairly well. Then I did ASMR Pretty in Pink triggers. So I had all these pink triggers and I had on this tinted lip balm. And it looked really good for some reason. And I had on my eyeliner and it looked really good. And yeah, I just looked... I felt like the look was kind of looking that day. And I looked really happy in this video, probably because pink's my favorite color. And I was fresh in a relationship and yeah it was just this video was just very good vibes i had my pink pillow which made really good fabric sounds i had my pink crystal book which made really good book tapping sounds and yeah i just remembered this video was very much like good vibes then i did a role play is more doing your makeup in five minutes not much to say there then I did a lo-fi ASMR shop with me where I made sounds around the Dollar Tree. That was fun. One of my first lo-fi videos like that, Hands View in Public, which I did a good deal after that. Then I did an ASMR trying on lip gloss. This video was very simple and I remember it did well for the time. And yeah, it was just very simple and very fun. I used to film in my bathroom sometimes at that apartment, and I can tell those videos with the purpley washed out lighting was in the bathroom. Then I did an ASMR clearing negative energy. Um, stone sounds, package noises, sage burning, guided release. I remember I liked this video because at the time I felt like I was holding a lot in and it was just nice to just clear energy and i used to go through and sage my apartment every now and then in that apartment then i have an asmr bridgerton review honest review posted i remember i thought this video was so good because i had like my ring light up and i was wearing like a, a head um bandana and i had on this nice jean jacket that was from the that belonged to the guy I was dating at the time and it was just kind of a look, kind of a vibe and I thought Bridget Train was trendy and I thought it would do a lot better than it did and it took a while for there to get many views on that one or likes. I did ASMR crisp cup tapping. I did a lot of like natural lighting, light videos. ASMR Wink Saga Honest Review, that was just like the Bridgerton review, and I remember I really liked those videos, but they didn't do very well, which had me like, oh dang, okay. ASMR Story Times featuring Starbucks, Rambles Plus, Encouragement, and Positive Affirmations. I remember this video very clearly because I went into... A study room at my university mind you the pandemic was going on at this time so they started opening it opening up these study rooms for us to use so like one person or two people or whatever at a time could go in these large study rooms where they would have a large table set up so i would go there and get a cheese danish and a java chip frappuccino from the starbucks that was on the first floor of my student union and then I would go and try, try, try to get something done. My attention span was shot, but I would try to get something done in the study rooms. And this day I just went ahead and just talked through stuff I was struggling and how I was feeling alone and how I felt traumatized from my first relationship. And I just talked through it and tried to be like positive about it and understanding 
for other people who might have been experiencing the same thing but it was kind of just me being honest and kind of just rambling about stuff I was struggling with honestly um, while also being thankful for where I was at that point because I was in a much better place than I had been the previous summer and I recognized that and then there's the lo-fi ASMR black and white quick and random triggers this was in that study room too when I made triggers with like the shawl I was wearing a pen I was using keyboard bills up tapping and just stuff like that and it was just a quick nice little video I used to do those types a lot then I did an ASMR phone camera and lens tapping and scratching video with some winter with some mirror tapping flash on no talking okay so that was very much like that first mirror tapping video I did and then I did a snow falling video where I just took a video of my campus and did some camera tapping with the backdrop. A lot of these are real short videos. And then I did a clap with on an ASMR, which I don't know if that's their handle anymore. I haven't seen a video from them for a while, but I follow a lot of people now, so I don't know if they're still on YouTube or not. <laughs> but we did five favorite triggers that was nice I had my rain light on and natural nails but I felt like that was a really good video and then I did the ASMR Valentine's triggers which was my only like Valentine's video on my channel in two years but yeah pink and red items flowers, chocolates, cards, wine glasses I remember I thought that video was really good too I did a nail polish bottle tr triggers with rambling visual triggers, camera tapping, lo-fi ASMR. So this was kind of like the rings tapping where I would put the nail polish on the camera and tap it and it would be nice and reflective and just really nice in that way. Then I did uh, the lip bar haul and lips lipstick application. Then I did a build up falling where I would it was like built up tapping but I would like had the camera down here and then would go or would go or say this is a um, dresser or something I would put the camera down here and go down the dresser and then on the camera and to this day I don't think I've seen anybody else do that but yeah that was a fun video it was very much giving me like Evie ASMR vibes because I used to watch her lo-fi videos a lot then I did a boot smoothing and buffing snow video. Then I did ASMR, air tracing, invisible scratching, hand movements, build up, page, poster, chalkboard. And this video did really good because Belle ASMR, Elle from the UK, shared this video, I remember, with her old channel before her old channel got taken down. But, um, but yeah, I remember she shared that video, so it did very well. And yeah, it was just simple lo-fi, invisible scratching, tracing. I did some TV tracing and tapping. And yeah, some people found my channel since that video was shared. I had an ASMR, Eminem is falling on the camera video. I feel like that was for a collab or something. Or a substitute ASMR. I did some paper cup tapping and scratching from Starbucks. A lot of short and little videos. An ASMR scratching on calendar. Whispered with fake long nails. Then I said thank you for one that or for one hundred. Whoa, <laughs> for for one hundred subs. So this was March eighth. So that's January, February, March. January, February, March. So that's like two months and one week after I made my channel did I get to 100 subs and then after that it all slowed down but then I did a keyboard tapping and scratching with the long nails video I remember I was surprised this one didn't do well because the thumbnail looked very tingly with the long nails on the keyboard close up but no no one cared about that video <laughs> then I posted the ASMR repeat after me, positive affirmations and intentions, hand movements, 
defending from negative energy. I remember I loved this video and I just felt, I felt like I was like owning my power and just like felt very like mystical because I was doing all these hand move movements like Avatar The Last Airbender or the Wink Saga and I remember I just felt very like empowered doing the movements almost like you do when you meditate or do yoga or something like that. I remember that's very much the vibe I had from this video and it did decent but I remember feeling like oh this was a really good video but no one cares <laughs> um i did an asmr tracing tapping and scratching around a room video this was meant to mimic my air tracing video that did well previously and that had on long nails i used to do a lot of long fake nails for lo-fi videos and then i just stopped and i was like i'm not doing all that but yeah i did a st patrick's green triggers no talking festive items natural green nails video that was fun i had all these props from the dollar tree and they made tingly sounds and yeah that was a fun video i did lo-fi asmr around an empty classroom so these videos i would like tap on the fake telephones and the blinds and the this and the that and do camera tapping and yeah i used to do a lot of those videos because i would use those study rooms and yeah i would just do a lot of those videos then I did a tingly phone tapping in mirror video. Then I did a short road trip driving video. Then I did ASMR green triggers. I was really feeling the green vibe at this time. And I looked really pale and gross because it was end of winter. But, um, but I was really feeling the green vibe. Then I did the super emo what is love abstract visual thing because I had just broken up with someone. Then I did a What I've Been Watching Netflix and Hulu edition. I believe this is the first time I watched Emily in Paris and just a whole bunch of shows. And I remember it was a very heavy time with everything that had been going on in the world and with the pandemic and with brutality and all that. So I remember I mentioned shows that helped me alleviate some anxiety for a while. Then I did a hotel tingly tap scratch flutter around ASMR video. Video, video, video. Um, and this one has a lot of views. I feel like someone shared this video. But I don't know. I think Alexandria ASMR might have shared this video which love her hey girl hey if you see this um and hey to l too who i mentioned earlier but yeah this one had a lot of views so when i see i had those long nails on and from the thumbnail it almost looks like in teen wolf where they have like the claws like that's what i'm getting from the thumbnail but i see i was scratching on the curtain which i always do in all of my hotel videos whenever i do a vlog or a room tour in any of my weekend trips or whatever I always like tap and scratch around the room and one thing I'll do is like go down the curtains and do like fold up scratching and it always makes a really good sound. But and then I have a lo-fi ASMR gentle match the pattern which I remember was a trigger that Evie ASMR used to do. So that was just a plain short little video on the wall where like on the wall I would say do a square and then on the camera I would do a square and like it was just that type of thing. Because I used to follow the, like, lo-fi ASMR trends. Um, and then I did an ASMR sleep triggers and chatting. I remember I almost deleted that video because I thought, I think I got a request for that and I was like, eh, but I ended up keeping it up. But I was like, eh. I mean, my video was obviously just, like, sleeve scratching, but... But the request, like, I don't know who the, how the person who requested it meant, and I didn't want it to be, like, a weird thing, but I just left it up because my video was not weird, no matter what they were thinking when they requested it. Not saying that they necessarily were thinking something weird, but, like, just in case I was like, eh. And I did a light tracing and camera tapping in the dark with white noise, love I use some video. I used to do a lot of these, like, gentle videos, like, in the dark. 
and yeah, I kind of miss those. Those were really fun. But yeah, I did ASMR blue triggers. I remember someone requested this video. Oh my gosh, my voice <laughs> reminds me of like when Rich ASMR will be doing her super up close, like clicky whispers, and then her throat will gurgle. That's literally what mine just did. But yeah, I remember someone requested this video and I look like sickly and gross in it. But I tr also tried soft spoken in it. I just wasn't feeling the whisper. But I remember the person who requested it was very sweet. And the blue was cool, aesthetic. But yeah, I think you can tell I was going through it at this time. Post breakup. Then I did a couple outdoor ASMR POV. You're playing outside camera topping soft spoken so this was when i tried to let something a little a little different where i like filmed a lo-fi video and then i would also add a voiceover to it and post both one for the people who liked no talking asmr and one for the people who liked talking asmr because at this time i did a lot of no talking lo-fi videos so i tried that but they didn't really do well so i stopped Here's another tap and trace around room and camera video in one of those study rooms. This time with the natural nails, I see I was tapping with the coat racks, which always have really like weird, fun patterns. Um, here's an ASMR red triggers, natural lighting, whispered video. I see I have my Happy Meal toy in the thumbnail, and I think that was a fun video. Then I have an ASMR catching up with your hood friend roleplay. <laughs> I remember that was fun. ASMR random trigger assortment. Lots of tapping whispered. I was reading about these period supplements I was going to try to take. <laughs> Very funny. Some of these videos I'm like, I don't know, I might delete. Like, I remember when I took my marketing classes, my professor said that sometimes it's best to delete some videos that don't do well because they could be bringing down your channel average for how well your videos perform. But I was also kind of like, well, but these could still take off at some point in the future. And like, maybe there's people who really like those videos. But I feel like if people really like those videos, then their views would be up because people would be going back to them and rewatching them and might even comment. I know sometimes it feels weird to like comment on old videos like i feel weird commenting on youtubers old videos because i don't want to be like i'm in the depths of your old content but like i don't know i feel like people would show if they're still watching stuff so all that to say i don't know some of these i might delete but yeah outdoor air tracing tap scratch around this is what i did a voiceover of and a non-talking version of asmr life updates whisper ramble and the thumbnail's like <laughs> or something. Um, this video I remember I kind of lightly talked about my breakup and I remember I got like a really sweet comment on that one. The only comment I got on that video, but it was very sweet. Um, ASMR, dried flowers, hair scratching, keyboard scratching with long nails. I remember again, I thought the thumbnail was really like enticing in this video and like it did not do well at all, child. And I was like, I was so disappointed because I thought the dried petals made such good noises and the hair scratching and the long nails. I thought it gave, but the audience did not. Um, ASMR, 25 minutes of goofiness hand movements and rambles so i had on braids and my little akron hoodie and yeah i remember i was feeling kind of like i don't know if i was feeling manic or what just very like hyper hyper and goofy and yeah i think i did some random triggers in that video and took out like my happy meal toys and whatever at some points asmr fast scratching the hoodie so this was just like a hoodie scratching and legging scratching video it did well because fabric scratching videos usually do do well on that side of youtube um vegas hotel room tap trace and scratch asmr i think alexandria asmr did share this one because this one had a lot more views 
and yeah i'm pretty sure she did which thanks girl but yeah and yeah i see the thumbnail is me doing like scratching with long nails in the mirror so this was my hotel room tour when i went to vegas on the trip that i originally had planned to go on with who was my significant other other than I broke up with them and then I still went on the Vegas trip myself and like took myself and I remember it was so cool it was like a catalyst for me it was a life-changing trip I met a Vegas native when I was there and like she showed me around some of the more obscure parts of Vegas in Nevada we got authentic sushi I met a bunch of her friends and I just remember it felt like such a freeing experience where I was like okay I don't need to wait for another person to do different things like I can commit to myself and have great experiences myself and I remember it was just such a good time like the people in Vegas were so cool all the like tourists like everyone was so nice just trying to find directions just trying to find this just happy to be there and like so many people were just so sweet like I remember there was this guy on the skateboard he was like I just want to tell you you look really pretty like I don't want anything or anything I just wanted to let you know like just so sweet so yeah I remember I loved this trip then I see there's a video that's me being like hi pretty people thank you and I think this was just me saying hi to the new subscribers since there was an influx from that video and there's a Vegas vlog lens tapping an air train scene. I'm looking rough in the thumbnail, but it was a good time. Vegas vibes lens tapping, no talking. So that was like another vlog, a video from the trip. Um, Lofi is my around the house. Intense lens tapping, whispered rambles. This was another one of those fun lo-fi videos I used to do all the time. Whisper scene named Kiss Me More Doja Cat. I remember this one got like um, put to 18 plus or whatever. And I was like, what the heck? Literally nothing was wrong with the video. And I meant to appeal it and I never did. But because there was one other video that had something weird that I appealed and I won. So I don't know why I never appealed that one. But yeah, that was really annoying. Um, I remember I used to think someone was like plotting against me and like reporting my stuff or something because like I would just be getting like like my videos did not get a very good reach and then when they would like I don't know there was like two that tried to have like some sort of weird restricting thing and it was just like very weird I felt like I had some haters watching my channel which still to this day I'm I know there may be a couple people who might because Bitches are petty and bitter, but hopefully they're not because I don't gaff, so hopefully they cannot gaff back because, like, mind your business. But <laughs> no, no, <sighs> but yeah, okay, ASMR baking cookies with the fire inside ASMR you should definitely check out a fire inside ASMR if you haven't already for lots of nice like hands view videos um I remember I really enjoyed that collab ASMR reading the Gucci Mane Guide to Greatness I guess I did still read some books while in college just not nearly as many as I would have but I remember I loved this book Gucci Mane was dropping all these gems and how he turned his life around it just business tips and mindset tips and I was just like I was a fan. I think that's what made me get into like checking out the new 1017. Is my McDonald's assortment? No talking. I think I also just didn't know how to title my videos, but whatever. Is my Happy Meal toys? Extreme crinkles. Camera tapping and plastic tapping. Lo-fi ASMR crinkly bag, canvas scratching, peaceful painting, no talking, ASMR canvas scratching and brushing, crinkles, tapping, art hall, trigger assortments, ASMR random black triggers, ASMR positive affirmations, and lens brushing. This was a very soft video. ASMR around my old room on random items. Coffee bubbles, a short from when I worked at a coffee shop. Lo-fi ASMR jewelry on lens, coins, velvet, leather, 
and nail polish bottles, tapping and white noise, ASMR sound like powdered grainy trigger assortment. I didn't know how to title that one because I was like, how do you title like grains or sands or like powder triggers? Like I didn't know and I still don't know. ASMR crinkles, box tapping, eating, fizzling liquid trigger assortment. I remember I had some champagne that I had some fizzy sounds with in this video. And then I tried to do a little like almost like mukbang with eating this big chocolate bunny at the end. ASMR catching up with your uni friend. This was a fun role play. So here's some coffee stirring, stirring, which was a short that I did on my old balcony in that apartment. I used to sit on that balcony so much and just like meditate, listen to music, feel my feelings. Lo-fi ASMR whispered rambling about Vegas. Trip. That video was so fun. And yeah. ASMR holiday trigger assortment mashup extra long nails tapping and scratching. I remember I thought that video was pretty good. It was long. I did lots of different triggers. Pouring coffee beans a short red items. ASMR. This was an hour long video and it did not get the love it deserved. ASMR candle tapping whispered. ASMR book tapping. ASMR phone and camera tapping in the mirror and finger flutters. Airbnb, tap trees, etc. Doing your hair for a party, collab with Gemini ASMR. Is Gemini ASMR still around? I haven't seen anything from their channel in forever either. I think she was going to like med school or something, right? So maybe she got too busy. I don't know. ASMR glass tapping on souvenirs. ASMR ish. Church flag, camera tapping. I remember that trip was fun too. Like I met all these, every Uber driver that I had on that trip was so cool. Like one was a musician and wanted to like unite the world with love. And another one was just, everyone was so cool. ASMR blunt, sassy reviewed therapist. That was a fun video. That one definitely did not get there. buzz that it probably should have because that was so fun. ASMR BNB, Airbnb bathroom ASMR. Lo-fi ASMR fills and bloopers. ASMR tracing, tapping, and scratching on cereal boxes. I think some of these were just too specific to go anywhere. ASMR blanket, hoodie, boots, and backpack scratching. Like what? <laughs> too specific. ASMR hair brushing. The lighting, the low contrast of those videos I loved. ASMR tinkly tea boxes and tea bag triggers. Again with the box tapping and plastic sounds. ASMR lens brushing with different brushes. One minute of coffee beans ASMR. Classroom tinkles ASMR again. Lo-fi ASMR makeup tapping and scratching. This I remember I recorded for a collab with this other ASMR artist who did really cool like iridescent videos and I remember I was about to move so I recorded this video and I remember I reached out to this ASMR artist and was like hey do you want to like collab I really love when you do these like really cool iridescent -y videos and they were like yeah sure and I was like okay I am going to be moving though so like I'm planning on recording ahead and she was like okay so I recorded the video and then she sent me like a follow-up email and was like, hey, I forgot to say, can you just like make sure you edit out like any background noise in your video? Um, I just had like a bad experience with another collab and like it wasn't up to my standards or like whatever. And I remember I felt so awkward because like I didn't know if she really had had an experience with another ASM artist or if she thought my videos had a lot of background noise. So then I felt like really insecure and was like, oh my gosh, because I was like, my um brand was like very much like a lo-fi asm artist at the time so like i didn't have a good mic or like software or any of that so then i felt so awkward so then i was listening to my clip back and i was like oh no this is not cutting it and i tried to edit it out and it just wasn't working and so then i remember i was having to move and pack and i didn't have time to re-record it so then i felt so bad i had to tell her like oh i'm so sorry i just like i'm so sorry i know i reached out to you for this collab but like i just have too much going on with moving and whatever and i remember she never emailed me back and i felt so bad and thought she probably hated me or something 
maybe I was just overthinking, but yeah, I remember I felt so bad. But so I did post my little clip and you can hear like the fan in the background, but I don't know, it was a simple cute video. It didn't do well at all by any means, but it was cute I thought. Here was an outdoor ASMR ear tracing and lens tapping video. I want to say I did this around like July 4th weekend. I was moving out of my apartment back to my parents' house at this time. So that's why this was a very stressful time. Here's a room ASMR, a little chaotic soft spoken ASMR. So that was back in my childhood room. I say childhood, but what I really mean is like the last two years of high school because my family just moved every couple of years before that and then they landed on that house and then that house they actually did end up staying in for like six seven years so of course like the house they moved into right before i graduated was the one they ended up sticking around in and having some stability in for a while but yeah so i moved back into that house with them for the summer before i got my next apartment because i just kind of i wasn't meshing with the girls that i had roomed with for two years in my first apartment anymore so i was switching apartments at that point so then i did asmr red triggers whispered talking again i think i just didn't title these videos very well but i see i was candle tapping in the thumbnail i feel like i was complaining in this video and i thought about deleting it because i was like i sound like a bitch but i kept it up ASMR Alta Hall cardboard tapping and scratching. This is when I had those blue long nails, which I did a bunch of videos with. That was pretty cool. ASMR Amazon Haul unboxing, cardboard tapping and scratching. That one did pretty well. Both of those videos were cool. Then I um then I was gonna like post like every day or like twice a day and then I stopped because like nobody was watching the video, so I was like whatever. But I pre-recorded a bunch like these same days, so ASMR on different shoes this cool shoe up close thumbnail asmr drinking glasses glass tapping asmr lipstick and makeup haul i remember the audio like unsynced on this one which made me so upset and i couldn't fix it so i just left it asmr mug collection glass tapping asmr stuffed animals and toys asmr stone tapping and scratching asmr lens tapping and scratching asmr hat haul fabric scratching asmr whispered ramble quick tapping ASMR Bestie does your makeup fast and aggressive. ASMR tapping and scratching applying lotion. ASMR whisper rambles fast nail tapping. ASMR whispered reading book quotes. Like these are all videos I did like at the same time with these long blue nails and the videos did not do very well and I was so salty because everyone said like, oh, just be super consistent and you'll blow up and that was not the case. I was very consistent and I did not blow up. Um, ASMR Kello. Color Pop, Hello Kitty, and Lush Life unboxing. So this was when I started to watch more like makeup videos and I was like, oh, I'd like to do some more like showing my face, tapping and scratching on things in front of the camera, more like traditional ASMR. Then ASMR shirt scratching and lens tapping, ASMR whispered rambles and tapping. So then these were videos I recorded at home. So I was a little more rambly, a little more in my feels as one is when they live with their parents for a little bit in such a situation. Then I did an ASMR gamer room, did tapping and scratching around like video games and stuff like that. ASMR whispered ramble textured, scratching and tapping long nails. I remember I talked about all the ASMR artists that I was listening to at the time and a bunch of other stuff in this video. ASMR Star Wars fan theories and thoughts. I remember I did my makeup nice for this video and was excited. ASMR eye test. I felt like that was a really good video. Um, ASMR neighborhood gossip. Talking about the six plus houses I lived in as a kid. That video did fairly well. My makeup was kind of snatched, I must say. ASMR worst reviewed hairstylist. ASMR brushing tapping soft whispered rambles so that was my first video in my next apartment i did some bright blue eyeshadow and rambled ASMR colourpop palettes unboxing ASMR colourpop haul so i was on a colourpop fix um 
is more clicky whisper ramble i remember this video did really well and i think it's just because it's a simple title that like everybody searches up without too much extra and it was a close whisper and i was honestly talking about a lot of just like heavy kind of depressing feelings in this video but people liked it and could relate and the thumbnails simple and the makeup's looking nice and yeah as next is asmr soft and gentle tapping and scratching this video did terribly and i felt so bad because it was such a peaceful calming video i thought asmr clicky whisper repeating hello 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 asmr unboxing y2k color pop collection i remember i thought the thumbnail was so good for this i was surprised that it did so poorly asmr candle tapping and lighting I had on a nice look for that too. All these videos, I had on like nice makeup looks because I was doing my makeup consistently that fall because there's a boy I liked and two of my classes. And yeah, I was just motivated to like do all these looks and do something makeup wise since I couldn't do something in other ways of my life. ASMR repeated plucking. That one was really clicky, I remember. ASMR Tinker Bell Color Pop. ASMR personal attention triggers, ASMR clicky whisper ramble about my day plus light tapping, ASMR pure, I think I was talking about my birthday there, ASMR pure tapping and scratching on palettes, ASMR soft and gentle tapping and scratching, again this was one of those gentle videos that I felt like was really nice that no one cared about or to watch. ASMR sensitive up close clicky birthday whisper ramble this was when I noticed that people really liked these types of videos from me because this one performed really well and I was just like talking about my life and I held up the little mini mic real close and yeah people loved it so I was like okay I'll make more of these types of videos ASMR lens brushing stress away. I remember I rewatched this video like some months ago just to see what kind of videos I posted back then. And I was struck by how much I was like trying to be nice and like presentable and just, just like presentable, nice and like appeasing. Like I felt like I just looked so gentle and so soft, which nothing is wrong with that. But I felt like watching it, I just felt like I was trying too hard and like I was shrinking myself and like making myself more nice and more appeasing to try to be what other people want to expect and yeah watching it i was like oh my gosh i used to think so much about other people's opinions and whatever and yeah just very different um but yeah it's more clicky whisper rambles about midterms and random triggers i remember i was going off on my professors in these videos at this time of the year i was like i was handing them out to dry because they were awful so as i should um asmr mini vlog homecoming week this was really just a vlog to show off my eyeshadow that i did this week um asmr corella catches up with you i had on the wig the nails Yes, ASMR Halloween Spooky Magic Shop Roleplay. I did some reading from what was it, Practical Magic or the book that comes before or after it. Again, with the wig, the black makeup, lipstick, the long gloss. It was a vibe. ASMR Haul Unboxing Quartz and Rainbows. I remember this video did so bad and I was like, why? Again, I didn't get it because I was like, people love hauls. Like, the thumbnail is very holly like what more do people want <laughs> ASMR makeup haul tapping and scratching Sarah Patch Kids ASMR makeup haul tapping and scratching Doja Cat so these all three of these were recorded the same day and I really liked my look but and the lighting was very like vibey it was like purpley because the sun was like going down and it just reflected and looked different and I don't know I was feeling it but apparently next to no one else was ASMR Pure Whisper Ramble, Story Time, Breathy Whisper, Clicky Whisper. Again, this is me getting more into that whisper ramble genre that I was finding people liked. I remember in this video, I was I was feeling super like manic or something, just so chaotic. And I was just like feeling so like giggly and ridiculous that entire video. 
but it was a good time. ASMR close clicky bubbly whisper ramble all the thoughts. Again, I just had so many thoughts built up and I had gone through so much in the past however long and so I just started to talk through it with you guys as I saw people enjoyed those types of videos. ASMR chaotic emo closey clicky breathy whisper ramble mini mic scratching and long notes happy and so I had on the claws and the rambles and just spilled the tea. ASMR shirt and bandana scratching so that's when I had that nice look with the yellow shirt and bandana. ASMR lens tapping with city ambiance which is another way of saying ASMR lens tapping with your window open when you live in the city. ASMR breathy whisper ramble finals and thanksgiving break so this video i remember talking about the first half of my finals week and talking about my thanksgiving break and how it was kind of stressful how i enjoyed reuniting with my brothers and talking about the shows and movies we liked a lot again but how it also was a tough time for me how my sister told me she didn't want me there when i was there for the weekend and I don't know if this was the time she threw a fan at me or what, but she had anger issues, child, <laughs> like major anger issues. And I remember crying and just feeling like I didn't really have a place anymore or anywhere. I don't want to say more because did I ever really? <laughs> but yeah, I rem remember I talked about some of that in that video and I kind of just was really honest with you guys and was like, this was my holiday weekend and the first half of my finals and um, and then ASMR mini mic brushing, clicky whisper, rambling, and lens tapping. I remember this, I talked about the second half of my finals week. And yeah, ASMR makeup advent calendar. I remember I recruited this video when I was sick. I think I had C19 this time. And I'm pretty sure I got it from my younger, or from my oldest brother's kids who already gave the original strain to my parents at one point and then I think he gave the second strain to me and my younger brother so I had not posted in like two weeks and I felt like ah, oh, so I posted this video um or no it was after this video I didn't post for like two weeks before this this video I hadn't recorded in like a month, but I had pre-filmed a video, so I'd still been posting, and then I felt bad that I had nothing to post, so I recorded this video, and then after this I didn't post for like two weeks, and people were like, oh, like where have you been, and I'm just like, I was just like, I'm sick, it's, it's not happening, but I did record a lo-fi video two weeks after that, but I did really like this video because I felt like the visuals were really nice, it was like, tapping up close to the camera and the visuals were really cool and I did really like this video. Next was Lo-Fi Tingles which I posted at the end of that little few week hiatus. After that was ASMR up close reading quotes for Kwanzaa. Next was intense mic triggers. New mini mic. This is when I tried different mini mics off of Amazon and it wasn't as good as the original mini mic but they were cute. Then I did brain melting silicone triggers, tingly tapping in mouth sounds, fabric scratching, and more. I remember I went to like Ross Dress for Less and a couple places with my friend over break, and then I did like a trigger sermon with the hall. Then I started trying my ASMR reading videos, so I did ASMR reading You to Sleep, The Raven Boys. Then I did a winter break reading list review where I talked about all these books that I binged over break because I did like to read. I just didn't feel like I had the time with school. So during breaks, I would try to read more. Um, then I did ASMR vlog, historic mansion and greenhouse. There is this mansion, Stan Hewitt Hall, back near my hometown city. And my mom had passes for Christmas. So she took me and it looked cool. ASMR book tapping, scratching, reading, the clickiest whisper, the dream thieves. I remember I loved reading for these videos and some people said they loved it but I couldn't get the margins right like my phone kept recording wrong and I was so annoyed. ASMR 
whisper ramble winter break this is when i came back from winter break to my apartment and i talked about why i had been gone for a little bit and why i was also gone from my apartment for like a month and all that it was a bit of a story times there was some tea somebody said i looked like wednesday adams in this video i remember which is so funny and i take as a compliment now that jenna ortega has played her um and i remember it for the next two videos i had this really cool like indigo -y lighting and i remember the lighting wasn't there at all i just played with the contrast and tint and everything so much because the computers i was renting out from my school had adobe premiere pro for free already installed on it so i played around with it and then then i did an asmr fast tapping scratching lo-fi video that same day then i did an asmr what i've been watching video always loved those videos and i had on my like almost like galaxy light thing in the background um then i did an asmr fast tapping on dollar tree makeup asmr clicky whisper ram whisper reading and crinkly book cover tapping for blue lily lily blue i tried to spread out the reading videos i remember asmr cleansing your energy and positive affirmations I used my crystals and did some energy scanning in this video. ASMR repeating trigger words. I really liked my makeup I did in this bunch of videos. Um, ASMR giving you a haircut. This video did pretty well. I think it's just because of the thumbnail. ASMR clicky whisper reading and tapping on a book, The Raven King. Loved that series. ASMR close whisper ramble long weekend chatty yeah i was very chatty that video is an hour and seven minutes long asmr you will get chills from these quotes bc book tapping that was me reading becoming by renata williams which is a poetry book this was a black history month like special video i did i was gonna try to do a bunch of products videos on products by black artists this month and then i think i only ended up doing like two close whisper asmr unboxing iconic london so i really like this video because of the visuals the close-up hands view makeup tapping looking very clean asmr cardboard paper glass plastic bottle tapping makeup revolution london skincare products some of these titles just aren't giving <laughs> is my clicky whisper rambling story times ranting i remember i was still as about work in this video i would say something's never changed but i refuse i do not claim that things are changing period asmr random ramble and mouth sounds close breathy whisper i see i have the light going in the background for those two How far are we? Lo-fi ASMR crinkly and tingly tapping, fabric scratching, quartz and rainbows unboxing, ASMR Amy close whisper ramble, long POV lab. So this video I had like the laptop in my lap and it's kind of an awkward view. But yeah, I rambled about everything in this video. It was an hour and 22 minutes long, which is my longest video yet at the time. And I think maybe still my longest video. And yeah, I remember I got emotional at the end of the video because there's just stuff I felt very strongly about. So yeah, super sensitive, fast whisper singing, little baby sounds, mouth sounds, and mic scratch. <laughs> this video was so fun to do. Um, I want to do more whisper singing ASMR, but you just have to like, I don't know, you hear my breathing so loud when I try to do them. Positive affirmations for school ASMR. I remember this was going to be a collab video and I emailed the girl and she was like, yeah, totally, definitely want to. And then after like a month, I had followed up a couple of times and she just never responded. So I just posted it myself. I've got my M&M's. ASMR tapping and whisper ramble. Oh, 
outdoor ASMR in the snow. Those at my parents' old house. ASMR to calm your anxiety, euphoria inspired. This was another video that I was so shook that did not do well because the visuals were so cool. Literally euphoria inspired. And people just did not care. Lo-fi ASMR unedited low ramble and camera tapping and channel info. ASMR camera tapping lo-fi. This was with the blue lighting. ASMR town gossip talking about my city's wild stories like people getting robbed for damn pizzas. ASMR the most chaotic close whisper ramble. I most definitely was manic at this time. I don't want to say definitely, but almost, most definitely. ASMR film mic scratching tapping. I was on a roll with the chaotic rambles. ASMR bassy tapping, intense crinkle sound packets and mouth sounds. Like too much is going on in that title. Good video, but too much going on. ASMR for when you're tired, whisper, ramble. I was so tired in this video. I have the sunset light in the background for these. ASMR, whisper, ramble while looking a little rough because I had like mascara or eyeliner smudged under my eyes. Lo-fi ASMR, camera tapping, whisper, ramble. 14 minutes of my phone falling. True story, bro. ASMR reacting to PLA, A being revealed. I had like a whole bunch of videos I was recording while I was watching Pretty Little Liars. What I made for a great vlog. ASMR bassy purse tapping, scratching with my telephone purse and more. If I ASMR show and tell the cutest candles, cutest vintage t candles from the candle parlor. Lo-fi ASMR unboxing candle tapping, ASMR close whisper ramble after a storm, ASMR nail on nail tapping and rubbing, ASMR mic test, this is when I got the Vegu mic, my first full size mic, actually the test cam was but I never used it so, so yeah that ASMR mic tested very well for me. around the channel you know after that i started doing mostly whisper rambles and then recently i've been doing more vlogs as well as book and reading videos so yeah let me know in the comments down below which of my videos i've posted are your favorite or which types are your favorite or which video from my channel you're gonna go check out now and yeah i hope to see you all in my next video 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 hope you enjoyed this channel review of my two years on YouTube.